we finally arrived in Sarande. Earlier than expected because we actually wanted to do a hike or anything, but the weather is not that stable, so we decided to go straight to Sarande. And now we're gonna explore a little bit the, the town and then we will go to our apartment that we have booked for the next almost two weeks. Yeah. You can see Corfu right in front of us. And the camper stays just downstairs. Right there. New construction here. Really modern. Some nice dry garlic right up there. or kilos. It was 300 lakh, so 2 euro 60, 2 euro 70. It's really cheap. So yeah, he has one with pork and I got one with chicken. Let's see. Some pepper. Mm. <laughs> you see that? There's a really big cruise ship over there. But it's not the best weather today to discover the city, so therefore we're gonna go to a hotel now. Foka Chari first. Have a cup of tea? Yes, it's very nice. It's very strong coffee, no sugar, and just a milk foam on top. The only thing is that they always serve it in a plastic cup and plastic stir. So rent boats or go on a boat trip. This is the marina here right in the, in the port of Sarande. Today we had a little bit more luck with the weather. At least it's a bit sunny in the morning but it's supposed to rain during the whole afternoon, right? And down here you can find a lot of different restaurants. They have a lot of ice cream everywhere. I think it's because of the influence from the Italian. Also, in general, there's a lot of Italian influence in Albania. And here you can see Kofu, and here you can see the bit. Having some random sweet before <laughs> going for lunch. This one tastes like baklava with chocolate. And this, and one? this is chocolate with nuts. Chocolate. And both of them together cost us one euro. I'm in heaven. So we found a very nice restaurant. Here we have stuffed eggplant. Tuna fries. And this is like baked vegetables with meat. Mm. 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 <laughs> the food was really tasty and the prices were amazing. So during our two week stay in Sarande we came back to these places like three or four more times. finished work and the sun is out and Foka is happy. Yes, I need sun a lot. So what we can see here now is all the topics that we heard already from other YouTubers and we saw in other YouTube videos that in Albania they are commercializing a lot of beaches and privatizing them. I think now it's still okay because there's no one on the beach. Let's hop. 
Motherfucker. Goes through elevation. <laughs> it's called Fokker lift. <laughs> we have now been here in Sarande for like three days, two days. Um, we have rented an apartment for 10 nights and it cost us 18 euros per night. So it is one of the most economical options I think that we could find. And our hosts are super friendly and um, we're very happy that we can stay there. Although the internet connection is not the best, so therefore I'm using a lot um, our and new SIM card that we bought from for Albania and it's like the welcome tourist package and it costs around 20 euros for 35 gigabytes and it's valid for one month so it's perfect if you need to have um, meetings and need a little bit of faster internet and have a plan B in case the internet is not working the water is super clear here and we're really looking forward to have some sunny days so that we can actually figure out how beautiful this town is so far we already had great food found a nice coffee shop one that you actually cannot smoke in because we also went to a few this is here in albania it is still allowed to smoke inside and i really hate it and i cannot work in, in this kind of environment so we had to find one with reliable internet and where you cannot smoke inside but we found one so we're happy about this and uh, we will also leave it in in the comments and uh, we will also leave a comment in google maps so that in case you're gonna be around Sarande you will find it and uh, it's pretty new it's just opened up recently I think here in high season everything is full and you can already see that they are literally privatizing all of the beaches. Oh, maybe we're able to find a way to go through. But now in low season or shoulder season, I think you're good to use the beach here without any issues because the sunbeds are still there. They just left these and you can just be on the beach with a towel. I don't think that anything will happen now. There you can see the car ferry from Finica's Lies. We wanted to bring our camper with that ferry, but unfortunately it only starts working on the 16th of May, I think. So right now only that one, the hydrofoil, is running and it's only a little passenger boat. So we have to drive to Greece, to the Igumanitsa port. It's only one hour or 50 minutes away from here, so not that bad. Yes, and this one, so this one here would cost 50 euros to more go, or less. More or less to go from here directly to Corfu. And if we now go first to cross the border and then take the ferry from there, it would it costs more or less 30 euros. So it's from Greece is a bit cheaper. Here it would be a bit more convenient, but in the end it doesn't really matter. Then also some more facts about uh, Albania. It is a very cash-driven country, so in most of the places we cannot pay by card. So you can go and get money out and then you have to pay everywhere, mostly anywhere, with cash. But I think if you get used to it, it's fine. We get our money at which bank? Credit bank, it's called. They don't charge any commission. It's pretty good. I've heard also the Intesa San Paolo bank also doesn't charge commission but we never tried it no we but just it's bank the... and they're everywhere basically so here in Sarande we had one in, in uh, Skoda 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 <laughs> so no worries what we also see a lot here is that they buy the buses or buses and the uh, directly in Germany or in other European countries and they even leave everything on it so this one is actually from munich and it was like for the public transportation and now <laughs> it's circulating here it reminds me a little bit of bolivia i remember that they had a lot of used japanese vehicles 
and they just left the stickers on. So here you can see the car ferry and I think it's just like 10 cars that can go in or how many? Something like that, maybe 10, 20 cars. So if you want to take this one then make sure that you reserve beforehand so that you can be sure that they will take your car with you. I think also the other ferry looks very funny, the passenger one is very flat. It's a hydrofoil it, and it speeds up, it actually flies almost. Only a little thing stays in water and the whole boat is lifted. Wow. It's cool, it's really fast. I didn't know that, thank you for explaining. So I think in high season it's not really worth it to do a day trip from Corfu to Sarande or vice versa because the border is a hard border, you have to pass the uh, immigration controls and in high season it gets really crazy the queues could be really long and there are people getting annoyed jumping the queues so i wouldn't recommend going to the other side just for one day for more days maybe now we just came to a little bar called elvis uh, cafe bar and you'll see why it's called like this <laughs> you need a bunker because the castle is not enough. <laughs> <laughs> so we went up to the castle that you can see from Sarande um, because apparently you have a very nice view on the sunset and there's a restaurant on the top um, with a bar but we also just in case just bought something to drink and something to snack and see whether we can find a nice place. Wow. This is beautiful. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is so pretty. So apparently this is the part of the restaurant where you can also have food and wine. But I think you can just also go down here. There are the people that also thought bring up beer makes sense. Wow. Well, what a view over Sarande. It's really calm here. We have like 8.30 in the morning and there is no one. <laughs> so I think it is very nice to just stay here for like two weeks, do a little bit of vacation as we did. And you can really enjoy the flair, the good restaurants, but also because there's not so much to do since it's low season. But we're not really beach going person. Yeah, no, we don't really go to beaches, but we can, we go hiking. Two days ago we saw a lot of beaches around here but it's not like our thing to be the whole day at the beach but if you enjoy that then I think mid-season right now yeah. it really depends on the weather on the day if you're lucky with the weather and during May or even early June but most of the beaches are just empty and they're beautiful to talk to you about about Albania and after being here for around two weeks and there's one thing that I really don't like about Albania <laughs> and it is that you can smoke everywhere and uh, I have mentioned it already that there are not a lot of cafes where we could work and we're not all the time being smoked at but yesterday we went we wanted to go to a bit a nicer restaurant in the end it was not that good the food <laughs> but it was a decent restaurant and um, 
So we were just starting to eat and next to us there was a couple and they started to smoke and they never stopped. So I literally asked whether we can sit somewhere else and if it's allowed to smoke in the restaurant and the <laughs> waiter was like, what, you you really, you don't like the smoke? And I'm like, no, I don't like the smoke. So this is really something that I hope that Albania will change in the next years, just like Germany changed like 10 to 15 years ago, Spain and other European countries and I think it's a little bit outdated that you smoker can just sit next to non-smokers in a restaurant and just ruin their, their dinner. And also it's really bad for the health and no one should be a passive smoker if they don't want to be, right? So. Um, but really the rest I really enjoyed here in uh, Albania the people the food um, just the the water is crystal clear it's a beautiful scenery and you can definitely come and enjoy it just be aware of the smoke if you are as me super strict against smoking <laughs> but we haven't seen the sunlight in five days so both of us are very well, we are people that need the sunlight to be happy and to live and I don't know who more than the other <laughs> but therefore we're very happy now and that we can finally work around and get some sun actually it's just Thursday and on Sunday we were sunburned and <laughs> stayed like yes. hours under the sunlight we exaggerated a little bit about this but we really need sunlight yeah therefore well this is why we are living this way because we first we want to explore different countries and different cultures and regions but on the other side we don't want to be in in the countries that have a lot of snow rain and a freezing cold so we're following the sun today you also have a super beautiful view on the island of Corfu and the water is so still it looks almost like a lake right that's it for today's episode next week we'll bring you to the most beautiful beaches that albania has to offer don't forget to subscribe